My name is Lala, and I'm a junior, and you're watching TMA. Hey, Leighton, you're back. Yeah, of course. Where do you think I went? Well, rumor has it you can bust into flames after the outside show. You don't actually believe that, do you? Well, no, of course not. Uh, besides, I'm not the one who even started the rumor. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I couldn't let Obi replace me as host, so I came back as soon as I could. Yeah, that's probably for the better. He was going on a rant about how much everyone likes him anyways. Ah, uh, well, anyways, Titans, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence. Hey Titans, it's Wednesday, May 22nd, and I'm Ben Harrington. And I'm Leighton Sutter, and you're watching TMA. So if you didn't combust into flames during the outside shoot, where were you? I already told you, I had my exam, and I'm so glad it's over with. Oh, so now that you're done with finals, now you can just chill for the rest of the school year. Yeah, I can't believe the school year's almost over. I know, right? Anyways, let's move into announcements. The Titan community is invited to attend the Scholarship Fund of Alexandria's 38th Annual Award Ceremony today, May, Wednesday, May 22nd at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium at the King Street Campus. The Scholarship Fund of Alexandria's Annual Award Ceremony is an event celebrating Alexandria City High School's graduating class of SFA recipients as well as the community who supports them. Among this year's 214 scholarships, 27 will be awarded for the first time. It's an exciting event you won't want to miss. Today's future you is Faris Zaroun. Hello, my name is Faris. My advice for underclassmen is to not get senioritis. Thank you to Lachelle Saki for that package. Join the ACHS orchestras in their spring concert on Thursday, May 23rd, where they will celebrate the musical success of the year and the amazing seniors. The Young Life Club is excited to announce that after school today, there will be an end-of-the-year barbecue. There will be music, games, food, and lots of fun. It will be held at Chinkapin Park. Come out and bring a friend. For the last time, TMA producer Griffin Magnus shares his final list of favorite films, this time about high school. Hello Titans, my name is Griffin Magnus and I watch a lot of movies. A lot of movies. I'm about to graduate, so I figured I would talk about some of the movies that I think best capture high school life. This is Griffin's Film Fest for the final time. Now this one might be a little under the radar, but the Trotsky starring Jay Baruchel amazes me with every rewatch. It follows a 17-year-old Canadian who believes he is the reincarnation of communist figure Leon Trotsky and brings about a revolution to his high school. The character's combination of motivated righteousness and his clear delusion makes for such a compelling person to follow. Toss that in with some hilarious performances from the side characters and a great thesis that deconstructs the apathy of modern youth, and you get something pretty inspiring. Don't worry, ACHS, I'm not going to unionize a school like Leon did in the movie, but I think rebellion is an important thing to promote in a high school movie. And Trotsky does that really well. I can't talk about high school movies without talking about one of my favorite movies. Election continues to be one of the funniest, smartest, and weirdly darkest high school movies out there. The level of charisma radiating from our three leads is all-timer material. 
It's no doubt a hyperbolized version of our reality, but the interconnected webs of relationships, the deception, the rivalries, they all have come into play, albeit on a smaller scale. Endlessly rewatchable. Dazed and confused, what a picture. Linklater's signature free flow philosophical dialogue, blended with a suburban 70s setting, makes for such a nostalgia ridden, relentlessly easy watch. Pink is an all timer character, and basically just the coolest kid ever, I want to be him immensely. The actual era it depicts feels far detached from our modern age, but I still relate to these characters and their experiences so well. I may not have been paddled on the tuchus by a villainous Ben Affleck bully, but I've still felt Mitch's despondence back in freshman year. I haven't spent all night at a billiards club with a gang, but I've had nights that seem to never end. Nights I swore could last forever with those people whose friendships I have forged and cherished. Now it's all coming to an end. But that's cool, because like everything I do, I know I can count on movies to remind me of the good times and make me feel better. Those were some of the best high school flicks, and this was Griffin's Film Fest. Goodbye, Titans. It's been a great two years watching and listening to Griffin talk about his film favorites. We wish him luck in his new adventure at Wesleyan University. I'm sure Griffin will always find time to discover those really cool and great films of today and yesteryears. Well, Titans, that just about wraps it up for today's announcements. Wow, it really does feel like these shows keep getting shorter and shorter. Yeah, it really does feel like the school year is finally coming to an end. Speaking of the school year ending, do you have any plans for the summer? Nope. See you, Titans. Bye.